students in this video i will explain about test for acidity and alkalinity okay so here you can see that uh, solution can be acidic basic or neutral you know that so how you will understand how to understand that uh, a solution will be uh, acidic or basic or neutral okay that you need to that can be understand by using the indicators indicators is such a substance which will indicate okay which will indicate that whether the solution is acid or base or neutral by changing its color or changing its state okay so there is some common indicators litmus methyl orange phenylethylene okay student first time explaining about little bit about indicator because uh, you um, indicator uh means uh, what is indicator little keep some knowledge okay it will be helpful for you in future so students indicator is generally uh, means uh, four type okay means uh, indicator suppose indicator is generally four type one is you can say natural natural indicator second you can say synthetic third you can say um, olfactory and fourth is the um, universal universal by the name you can understand natural means which is naturally uh, uh, means naturally uh, we adapted naturally we got okay uh, that we will get from the nature uh, like for as example we can say litmus and uh, turmeric turmeric also a indicator uh, how i am saying and uh, suppose for synthetic synthetic you can say methyl orange methyl orange and phenylphthalein phen phenolphthalein p h a l i n okay see student how they will act suppose acid or base is present okay so if you take the indicator okay suppose litmus if you take the litmus litmus color of litmus is purple generally okay so in acidic solution it become red and in basic solution it become blue so when you take the litmus paper litmus is obtained from a plant lichen plant okay that's why litmus is um, natural indicator so litmus paper uh, available in the market okay someone uh, you can use the litmus paper and in the there if there is a, a acidic solution okay suppose uh, acid solution acid is everywhere in in home also acid is there you know um, lemon lemon juice also acid okay uh, so so acidic if you give lemon juice on the litmus paper it will cotton converted into red similarly when you give the base okay alkali okay it will convert it into blue color that is the in so it will indicate similarly turmeric student turmeric to you know uh, in acid solution its color is yellow means no change generally turmeric is yellow color so no change but uh, in base it becomes reddish brown it become reddish brown that's why you know when we mix uh, turmeric with uh, lime sometime we used to uh, mix and if somewhere cut uh, or torn happens in in the body in that place we can apply the turmeric okay uh, that turmeric and uh, lime mixture okay so that color is reddish brown okay similarly student methyl orange methyl orange uh, methyl orange color in acid ka it become pink and uh, in base it becomes yellow and uh, phenylphthalein it's colorless in acid and uh, pink in base okay so methyl orange become pink in the acid solution and yellow in the basic solution similarly uh, phenylphthalein become colorless or it's or naturally it's colorless so it's um, remain colorless in acid solution and pink in the basic solution so these are the natural indicator and synthetic indicator completed now come to olfactory olfactory means um, means you know it will change the order order olfactory means 
anything related to the smell okay smell organ means it will change its order okay so like uh, example onion clove okay onion clove they are the they they are the used as the olfactory indicator means the in acid or in base in presence of acid solution or in base solution that clove and onion change its order okay and uni last is the universal indicator and it is very important for your purpose student universal indicator are mixture of dyes or mixed indicator okay uh, mixture of organic dyes or mixed indicator okay Mm, how students like example is ph paper ph paper that is important and that we just going to learn about which is divided which is uh, discovered by sorensen ph scale okay ph scale or color ph paper is also uh, present okay uh, that is uh, universal indicator why because student all these three types of indicator can explain whether it is acid or base but nobody will explain about the strength okay strength of acid or how much acidic how much basic no one will no nothing not in no, no one indicator will explain but that universal indicator universal indicator will explain the strength of acid and base also okay that's why this is very important okay and uh, ph will explain whether the solution is acidic or base basic if that scale is divided from 0 to 14 middle there is 7 okay middle is 7 so uh, according to the color of light vibgio you can say that v i b g y o r vibgio you can say that if the color is g green for the that is neutral middle means you know so in a ph scale divided from 0 to 14 middle 7 is the scale for neutral solution okay if the solution is neutral its ph will be 7 and if the value come more than 7 then it is uh, you can say it is basic or alkaline basic okay oh no problem or alkaline you it will be better you can say it is alkaline and uh, or base and if it is less than the neutral solution it is acidic okay and uh, the, the value 1 2 3 4 it will like that if yellow it is slightly uh, acidic if it is red completely acidic so according to the color a perfect strength of the solution also it will provide that's why student ph scale is known as the universal indicator okay uh, so um, i think you understand um the about the ph scale so how this scale how uh, it uh, come to the um, how it will discover happens okay and how numerically we ca calculate the um, ph okay that explained by the sorensen so generally student ph is the concentration of hydrogen ion present in the solution how see here i explain here that suppose water molecule okay that water molecule is dissociated at H3 hydronium ion because you know H plus is very unstable ion. Immediately H plus formation will uh, soluble in H2O to form H3O plus. Okay, that is a stable little bit bigger uh, uh, cation. So H3O plus will form and OH minus will form. Students, when water will hydrolyze, it has seen, it has measured that the concentration of both ion is 10 to the power minus 7 mole per liter and at, this is also 10 to the power minus 7 mole per liter. Okay. So, ionic product KW, KW is known as the ionic product. Okay. Ionic product is uh, basically the uh, multiplication of uh, the cation and anion form the hydrolysis of water okay so cation is uh, you can see that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 7 anion is also 10 to the power minus 7 that means 1 into 10 to the power minus 14 experimentally okay experimentally it has determined at 25 degree centigrade that means that means students the if you add more uh, suppose a solution so in a solution so ionic product of water is this so in the solution if you add more h plus okay if you add more h plus that means h plus means acid 
that means the concentration of H plus will increase. Similarly, concentration of OH minus will reduce because the value is constant. It should be 10 to the power minus 14. That means the solution become acidic. Okay. So if H plus add it, so concentration of OH minus will decrease and um, the solution become acidic. So that measurement and if reverse, if you add base OH minus, the concentration of H plus will decrease. So if you if we measure only concentration of H plus, okay, then we can calculate whether the solution is acidic or basic. Okay, if concentration of hydrogen is less, it is um, you can say basic or alkaline, or if it is more, that is acidic. Okay, so that is Sorensen discover pH represented the hydronium ion concentration. pH means potent of hydrogen ion or power of hydrogen ion. Okay, means in a solution, how much hydrogen ion is present. Okay, that concentration, if you uh, get, you can calculate the solution is whether acidic or basic. Okay, so experimentally, uh, he give, give the formula pH is equal to minus logarithm of H plus. Student logarithm you learn in the um, mathematics. Okay, how I have explained here. See, log x, uh, log y base x means z is equal to z. That means x to the power z is equal to y such that. Okay, means log 100 base 10. Here log nothing means you always consider that base 10 log 100 base 10 is equal to 2 means 10 square is equal to 2. 2 is come here means t, uh, sorry 10 square is equal to 100. Okay. You, x to the power z is equal to y. That is the basic. That means student if hydrogen concentration in a solution is 10 to the power minus 12 moles per liter. Suppose I am considering then pH will be minus logarithm log base 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 means 12 will come minus 12 will come first forward minus minus plus 12 log 10 base 10 is equal to 12 because log 10 base 10 is equal to value is 1 okay in mathematics i hope you practice this numerical students is very important because maybe the numerical will come and concentration concentration of hydrogen ion always will be given okay so concentration will be measured in the unit moles per liter okay moles of hydrogen ion present in li one liter any solution so concentration of hydrogen ion always calculated in moles per liter okay so uh, next page we are proceeding okay just uh, i am explaining here suppose given that 10 to the power minus 4 moles per liter Concentr that is the concentration of hydrogen ion then what will be the ph ph will be minus log of concentration of h plus okay that means minus log of 10 to the power minus 4 that means 4 okay because uh, see minus 4 come here minus minus plus 4 log 10 base 10 that means this value is 1 okay here nothing means log base 10 is present always remember in this case for ph log always base 10 okay so the value will be 4 4 means acid okay why because you know that ph 7 neutral less than 7 acidic and greater than 7 alkalinity okay ph of a solution is inversely proportional to the high concentration of hydrogen ion you understand if hydrogen ion will increase ph of the solution decrease okay that means that means ph higher for a alkaline solution ph more means solution is alkaline and ph less means pH less means acidic and pH less means acidic means uh, hydrogen ion is more okay acidic for acidic purpose pH less than 7 but H plus ion is more in acidic solution so that means you keep it in mind that pH of a solution inversely proportional to it the uh, hydrogen ion present on it okay and the reaction of uh, hydrolysis uh, converted into H plus OH minus is always endothermic you need to give some heat to hydrolysis the water okay our concentration term come in molality molality molarity means number of moles by volume of the solution in one liter okay so number of moles of hydrogen ion moles per liter and how what is molality molarity molarity that you will learn in the stoichiometry chapter okay mole concept stoichiometry there you will learn about all these concentration term and how you will calculate from um, from gram to mole or th that all the things okay so thank you student this is the lecture on uh, test for acidity and alkalinity mm.
and one another thing students uh, is present that uh, importance of pH with this uh, importance of pH in everyday life that is uh, also very important in agriculture uh, suppose our body uh, works within a narrow pH range of 7.0 to 7.8 okay that means our body you know blood blood uh, the uh, blood pH of blood is around 7.3 and sea water is uh, around 8.5 okay that means both our blood is little bit alkaline and uh, slightly and sea water is also alkaline okay so importance of ph that student uh, present in your book you can read that our body works within narrow ph range of 7.70.02 7.8 okay plants and elements also survive in a narrow range okay Achha. in agriculture every crops grow better in particular ph range okay you know that for example rice grow better in slightly acidic soil whereas sugar can natural and citric foods in alkaline soil okay if ph less than 5 to 6 of rain water it said to be the acid rain okay and uh, in medicine certain diseases are diagnosed only on the basis of ph value of the blood and urine okay in, in case of certain disease ph value will be decreased or increased by based on that so students you will read from the book okay it is um, not nothing so much explanation is there but it is very important for the exam purpose so you will read it thank you